As scientists, we are all busy running experiments. We're analysing data and reading and writing and editing. Sometimes our job may involve teaching and often administrative work. So why should we care about yet another task? Communicating our research to audiences beyond our peers. Isn't publishing papers enough? Why communicate science? Here are some of the top reasons given by a few of the world's leading young scientists. Number one, it is fun. I certainly subscribe to this one. Making my research accessible to non-scientists and presenting it in the three-minute thesis competition was definitely challenging, but it was also a lot of fun. But it doesn't always have to be a formal event. Science can be communicated on any media platform that you already enjoy. From magazines, to YouTube, to social media. Personally, I prefer Twitter. But there is a large community of scientists on all such platforms where we not only communicate our work, but also engage with each other. Number two, giving back to society. If your research is funded by public money, it is only fair to let the public understand your results. However, if your funding comes from a private company, for example, you may think that you shouldn't be communicating your research, as there's a good chance it is confidential. My research, for example, is part funded by a private company. I can't talk about the specific application of my work or my latest results, but I can always talk about the broader science or provide some alternative applications. But the key thing is that you translate your research into a language understandable to non-scientists. This also extends to communicating with policymakers and other stakeholders with societal impact. The third reason is that it helps to advance your career. I'd like to spend some time on this point and identify the reasons why communicating science does in fact help advance one's career. Firstly, here is some data to show that for scientific publications in some fields, the social media mentions correlate with the number of citations in the academic literature. This suggests that better communication about your research, especially on social media, can lead to an increased awareness amongst peers, which in turn is reflected in more citations. Some data indicates that this is not merely a correlation, but a causal relationship between Twitter mentions and academic citations actually exists. There is also some data that suggests that scientists who make the effort to translate their findings into a language understandable by lay audiences are also better understood by colleagues from their own and adjacent research areas. Another aspect of how science communication can have a direct positive influence on a career in academia is having a visible media profile. Increased visibility within the media landscape might make it easier for us young researchers to get noticed. This can lead to job offers or collaborations beyond our own field. In the competition for the best minds and for funding, Research institutes and universities are not only interested in scientific excellence, but also in how we are perceived in the public. One last aspect of why it is important that scientists and our work is visible in the public domain is that communicating scientists can be the voice of reason in a media landscape where non-scientific claims can propagate like wildfire and influence public opinion. If more of us communicated our research to the public in an accessible way, then it is more likely that people will support us and understand the implications of our work in their daily lives.